very first thing in the morning, I take him out to go potty. I always have YouTube music playing to help soothe him. Hey, boy. Good morning. Good boy. Let's go outside, grab my tree pouch. The high value trees, come on. Let's go. Good boy. Crack the door open. This dark dog's off and sh he already got it. He's quite a smart pup. I've done this a couple of times. I open the door, ask him to sit. Good sit, reward. Okay. I'm gonna unlock the lead, flexi lead. Now, I should talk about the flexi lead. I use it because I want to control when I have leash pressure. A lot of dogs will just continually pull. With this, he has about 25 feet of pull. Good potty! And I always acknowledge when he potties. Good potty. That's good. Using my purple cues. Good. Yes. I pull the leash. I tap and give a little bit of pressure on the leash so he understands that I need him to come to me for the recall. So this is me avoiding leash pressure and practicing recall. I get to control when I want leash pressure instead of being limited to six feet of it. Good boy! Every time it comes to me, I'll use my verbal cues. Positive verbal cues are good and yes. Good boy. Huh? <laughs> us! Good boy! Come on, uh, us! Good boy! And run back a little bit. Come on! Good boy. Here. Let's practice some luring. Come on. Da -da -da. Ooh. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Good boy, sit. Good sit. Yes. Okay, let's go inside. So some things I didn't even quite cover. There's always so much to talk about. But one of the things is why I'm doing the luring. The luring is to help engage him in his movements. Get a mark. Good. As I mentioned in the last video, um, standing is, keeps the energy up. Things that make the dog stay still is going to lower the energy. And I don't want that right now. I want to keep the energy high so he actually enjoys to learn. Sit. Yes! Good spin. As I mentioned, the main reason, the main goal is engagement. Yes! So whenever he sees other strangers or dogs, even though he wants to play with them, he knows that I'm a lot of fun. I'm not this, I'm not the disciplinarian. And that seems to be an issue with a lot of parents out there thinking they need to discipline, discipline. But you're going to lose that engagement and then you're going to have to constantly force him to, to do what you want in, when he gets older. Good boy! So you want a dog or you want a student or a child to do things for you because he wants to, not because he needs to. Weave! Good weave! Good weave! Mark! <laughs> the high stepping is fun. I'm gonna nudge him, see if I can keep him on there. Good boy. This is healing. Good heal. While I'm doing this, he you can tell he's not actually getting the treat. So he's he's not getting a lot of treats like a lot of people think. He's only getting 
a lick out of it. My thumb covers it. And when I, whenever I say yes, I move my thumb to give him a little bit more. This is the preliminary stages of the luring technique. Later on, I'm going to just be guiding with my finger. Mark. Good. Good is a stay. And for the most part, we never say stay because stay means to stay in one place. In the future, I may use stay for something, um, something different, like me leaving the room and I need him to stay in that room. But for the most part, when people say stay, what I say is good. Because when I say good, that means keep doing what you're doing, not always sitting and staying in one place. Good. Sit. Good. Good. Yes. Good, Mark. Good boy. And while I do this, I want to do a little bit of collar pressure so he gets comfortable with this. One of the main things people hire me for is uh, leash etiquette. And I don't know if I mentioned in the first video, but most dogs pull to get where they need to. So they reward themselves for pulling. But I need him to understand that pulling from me is the reward, not the opposite of him pulling me. It's me pulling him. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Yes. I don't want him to sit too long because that lowers energy. Mark. Good boy. Good. Spin. Sit. Yes. <laughs> I love the the energy. Good boy. He's a pretty smart dog. Now again, I mentioned that as a puppy, I don't really um, expect him to stay, but I need him to uh, at least wait a little bit. Good, good, okay. Right back. So earlier today, he knocked over this watering can and it scared him, so he's, he's a little bit scared of this so I'm going to put this right here to get over this phobia that he just created for himself when they're puppies they're fragile they're very volatile they get superstitions that's the reason why they may avoid things one of the most common superstition is the vacuum cleaner and the and just loud noises like thunder and such so a lot of times we need to condition them we need to condition them to be um, confident. So I have a lot of these rattlesticks that I use for protection dogs or any working dog. I need him to be comfortable Good boy. Yeah, he's doing good. So maybe um, this evening I'm going to introduce the remote collar. Uh, if the weather permits, right now it's almost 100 degrees, but I may take him to um, Walmart, one of my favorite loud, obnoxious places to go to. So he can get acclimated and comfortable with the environment.